Sunday afternoon. Let's go to the Footscray lineup straight away and see if Dougie's that he will be lining up for the Footscray side. I would uh, a weekend a 27 point victory over till well up till then they were the Premiership favourites, Carlton, and some changes coming into the side: Gilbert, Malloy, Grinter, and Yates. No one going out as yet, as uh, as Dougie said. With the Sunday game, they have the. Uh, well, I suppose the luxury of having the uh, large interchange bench at the moment. Last week, their forwards are on fire. Charles kicked five. Schwartz, Pike, four goals each. Glenn Lovett, three. And Gary Lyon, two. And we'll go back to Gary Lyon and ask the question with the forward line where uh, you've got so many options, Gary. It must be pretty confident up there at the moment. Yeah, it's a pretty hard place to get a kick. Well, it certainly was on Saturday, Ed. They had a, a lot of options and the boys uh, put their hand up. And you know, Schwartz was fantastic, as he has been all year. And Pike's been uh, terrific. Of course, Shawnee Charles bobbing you up with five, so uh, you know, it gives us a few options up there, and I guess it keeps Footscray thinking a bit. Gary, 25 points down at the 19-minute mark of the second quarter to come back and only be two points down at half time. Uh, what was it like at that stage? It must have been a, a great feeling. One, first of all, did you uh, did you think the game was slipping away, and then going in at half time, you must have been really pumped up and confident that you'd be able to go on and roll, Carlton. Yeah, yeah, it was. Funnily enough, Ed, out on the ground, I, I never really. Um, thought that we were too far behind at all. Uh, I was surprised to hear we were 25 points down. I guess you don't pay too much attention to the scoreboard, but uh, I never thought the game was slipping away at any stage. And um, you know, to our credit, in the last 10 minutes, we, we did hit back pretty well. And uh, I think it was important to stay in touch going in at half time. And uh, we were pretty confident in there that uh, you know, we had enough enough goal scoring power to perhaps uh, pinch the game. And, and that's how it panned out. So, Gary, yes. Dermot here. Um, hey, Dermot. How, how's your record been against uh, Footscray this year? No, not good, Dermy. We've uh, played them twice. The first one at the MCG was uh, one of those ones that could have gone either way. They burst by a handful of points, but they did give us a caning three or four weeks ago, so right. it's fresh in our memory. So and, three and, three three and the points. second it question three... I've got for Sorry, you is, who did was... that stencil on the wall behind you out of Better Homes and Gardens? Directly yeah, behind yeah, you, mate. Jack had just whipped that one up. Got he, the uh, crayons out, did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did a bit of finger painting. In fact, the, nice. uh, the margins were three points in, the, in round uh, eight and 40 points in round 23, so they gave you a bit of a caning out at the Western Oval. Uh, is that still in the back of the mind? It was only a couple of weeks ago, Gary. Yeah, certainly fresh enough, Ed. Um, a very important game, and uh, what it does do, of course, is it alerts us to the fact that they're a very, very good side, and uh, they're, they're very tough and attacking, and, um, you know, we won't go in certainly unprepared this Sunday. Oh, Alan. Oh, yes, Sam. <laughs> have you been going to the games? I have, Sam, yes. Have Enjoying you, them. Have you been delighted? Very much. <laughs> Did very you know much. that so there's... Did you know that there's uh, 11 players in the side with Y in their name? Is that a fact? <laughs> That's an amazing statistic, isn't it? <laughs> Primke, Phoebe, Maddie. Tingay, Lyon, Steins, Dyson, Viney, Malloy, Phoebe twice. Amazing statistic, that, Alan. Only you could come up with something like that, something menial like that, Sam. Doug, uh, Gary Lyon has kicked five goals in both games against Footscray this year. And, uh, of course, you've won both games. But uh, to knock off Gary Lyon, obviously, would give you a, a big chance. Has there been any talk of what you're going to do? How are you going to play against Gary Lyon this week? No, nah, not really, Eddie. Um, Gary is a very good player. We're all well aware of that. And, uh, of course, you've got Schwartz running around, around as well as Pike. So, you know, they've got a very good forward line. So our back line need to be very, very tight. All right. Guys. Well, which is something you're not used to, Dougie, being, being tight. tight. Mm. Sammy, good point there. Good point What's there, Sammy. What's funny about that? See, uh, <laughs> good. did you see Rodney Grinder was back in the side there? I hope he gets on, does very well, but I hope he gets about nine weeks, so he's more suspended than me. It'd be good <laughs> to come out like that, Rod. Good and, luck, mate. And good luck also to Andy Lovell and to Stephen Tingay, who are playing their 100th games as well for the Melbourne Football Club. A big game that one.